the concept of HDF5 filters are operations that can be attached to or performed transparently to a data set. So you can attach a filter as part of your definition of your H5 file uh, within a specific data set. And now you've attached a filter to this data set, which means every time you try to write or read data from that data set, it first will, well, if you're trying to write, it first passes through the filter and then is written down. If you're trying to read, you read the bytes out from the disk, pass it through the filter, and then, it, and then it's accessible for you to work with. So it's basically, filters are this layer that, that sit between right, your actual data and then your memory, right, your program, if this is like Python or something, right, that's trying to access this, this data, the filters are basically this thing that sits in front, in between, oops, I can't spell, filter, that sits in between and processes the data you're trying to write or read from as it's in both directions. And it does so, in doing so, this takes up some CPU processing, right? And this is disk. And carefully and appropriately chosen filters can significantly uh, increase your efficiency with, with performing analysis and, and working with data. Why? Because many times your biggest limitation in speed is disk I.O., especially if you're trying to read or write data. It's always the speed at which you can read or write data that's your bottleneck. So anything you can do to read or write less data, even if that means spending a little bit of CPU horsepower to do so, is often a very good trade-off. And pretty much all of the filters are basically things like that. They're processing operations on the data that you do if you're trying to write before you write to disk, right? So you, you, you perform some math, you write it down that way, and now you've written down less data, less actual bytes, even though you're encoding the same exact information. Most of these filters, at least the ones that you want for you know working with data, are, full, are lossless, meaning they don't lose any information at all. Because when you then go in to ask for the, your data back from your data set, you pull whatever you wrote down, which is a smaller number of bytes than you otherwise would have, pass it through the filter, and now you have access to the memory. This is supposed to be Python. Um, and so it's a really handy tool if you know how to use them well. And we'll cover some of, a couple of the biggest, most important, um, most effective filters that are commonly attached to HDF5 to help increase your throughput, uh, what, what, you know, the metric I like to use is the, you know, the, 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 the uh, throughput to RAM. How quickly can you get a set of bytes into RAM is the key now metric because that becomes now a combination of CPU plus disk IO. And so it's no longer bottlenecked by just disk or just CPU time. It's this interesting hybrid of both.